Hi, Ms. Morphew here. I'm recording a Zoom video to talk about how you're going to do replies to your peers on discussion board when they post their videos. So let me do a quick share screen of our PowerPoint. Remember that a good student remembers things, but a genius will take some notes. Remember to put some dates on those things because you never know when that information, that data you're building, won't be able to help you on your final paper. Now, we're going to offer peers feedback on each of their speeches, and you're going to read peer feedback on your speeches, but there's, there's more than just rah-rah involved. We don't just want to say, oh, that's nice. Discussion replies, imply that there's communication. And we know that communication is a message from a sender to a receiver and it's understood. Sometimes you have to ask questions to make sure things are understood or restate what's been stated so that they'll extend or clarify some more. We've got to use feedback. The purpose of this vid is to quickly talk to you about the purposes of replies, our observation connections and questions we can use, how one student called it, I like how we criticize kind, and a quick tip on making your threads, your online threads, free of clutter. Discussion board replies are, are made for a number of reasons. And as this graphic shows, your feedback can offer your opinions, your response to the organization, content, delivery, or even the technology that you've witnessed, some idea that you might share or advice that you can offer. You might even give a little rating. You're gonna use your observations about that OCD, organization, content, delivery, maybe tech, the connections you make, and some questions you might have. Perhaps you can extend the conversation by adding new information. There's an old adage you've probably heard of as a feedback sandwich, where you start with something positive, offer some constructive feedback, and then end with a positive. Now that's a little too complicated for me. I think I speak that way, but I don't wanna think about a sandwich each time. It's not lunchtime right now. The feedback poster on the right side of your screen. Good feedback is specific, it's constructive or helpful, and it is kind, perhaps inspiring. So these little statements, I can say exactly what needs to be changed or added and what's working well, adds specificity. As a college student, you don't just want to say something's good. That's nice general praise. You want to say exactly what you've seen that made it good. It's constructive. If someone has done a demo discussion that has all their work cited in it and it's not in MLA format, there might be a kind way you can express that they need to look at that or, or give them the exact tip that they need and inspiring. You can provide feedback that someone else is going to feel positive and ready to make any changes you've suggested so that they'll improve. Remember, Aristotle said that all communication is persuasive. Well, we can be kind as we criticize. Your peers are counting on effective feedback. I'm hoping that with this base group, you limit the number of speeches you have to watch, but you'll build community with those few people and, uh, and, and support each other as you continue to grow in your communication skills. Now I'm going to go to a new share and take you to Momentum to show you a trick so that there is less clutter in our conversational threads. You're looking at a woman whose post I had used for like, I think our one of our computer day things too. Tracy had commented on discussion number two and rather than actually commenting on the, the vid lectures and everything that she had observed, she 
extended it and she posted all about a video she chose to watch and then others commented on that. Victoria said, hey, I watched yours and she found it interesting and she talked about her own growth. She really extended the conversation with her connections. Alexa says, I'm gonna to have to check that out. I need all the help I can get. Um, not very thorough, but it was a nice connection. John responded what his issues were. So again, he's making the connection and knows what he needs to do. So maybe he'll take her advice. And Jessica said general praise. It was informative, thanks for sharing it. Now let's talk about how to unclutter. I wish they'd ask questions, so let's type a question. Clicking reply to thread under someone's video will show you the original post. Some people just start typing, like if I asked her, um, what did you think about the Amy Cuddy video? Hello. Watch what happens when I post that question. I get all of her original post there. And can you imagine the clutter if every one of those people had the original post? So the way to fix that is when you, let's make go ahead and make a new reply to her again and show you that again, reply. Just select all of that, control A or highlight down and delete it or just start typing. What did you think about Amy? And post. See the difference there? How clean that thread will be versus that? Now that you have that trick, remember your peers and reply in a kind, specific, and helpful way in, about their organization content, delivery, or even their technology. Ask questions and make your own connections. Thanks.